What's up, baby? Yo, it's your boy, Joey Stacks. Guys, this is the video we've all been waiting for. This is the video everyone's been asking me what has happened with Straight Cartel. But before I tell you, I need you to first like the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you're showing love to my channel, man. It's all about building that Stacks army, you already know. Guys, there's so much I gotta tell y'all, I've been wanting to tell y'all. This shit ended back in April. April! Can you imagine? This is July. So your boy's been holding all this up in him. All this has been helping me just, just think and think and think of what I want to tell you guys just so you guys actually find out the truth. Not only about what happened with me and Straight Cartel, but about the truth of Big Girl. Big, big Girl, some tampons. <laughs> you already know. I'm going to be talking a lot of shit in this video because this video is here to tell you the truth. Not the stuff you guys see on camera. Well, maybe the real shit y'all see in my videos, you know what I'm saying? Because me and Ricky, we ain't about editing all the real shit out. We keep all the real shit in because that's what we are. We're real. And that's why you guys recognize your boy because real recognize real, right? You already know, baby. That's why the Stacks Army's been growing. That's how I got the almost 50K subscribers already. And it's not because of Big Girl and the fake cartel. Fake as fuck, homie. That's for damn sure. I built this channel on my motherfucking own. You know what I'm saying? So guys, it's gonna get raw. It's gonna get real. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the show. What's up, baby? And today's the day, guys. You're gonna finally hear the truth. And the only way I think that you guys can really understand what's going on between Joey Stacks and the fake cartel and all the heavy haters is if I start from day one. And honestly, day one was when Rock's Discount Vitamins had a meet and greet for the fake cartel. And this is back when Pitbull was still with the fake cartel and he came down with Big Girl and basically did a meet and greet, right? And then all my San Antonio people showing love and uh, you know, obviously I was an athlete for Rock, so I went down to the meet and greet. Uh, never really had seen Straight Cartel, never really heard of them, never really, you know, was into watching, you know, other crews and stuff. I was mainly focused on building my brand. And at this time, I think I had around 200,000 followers on Instagram. I'd been building my page for about three, four years. And uh, so let's keep going, man. I go up to the meet and greet and uh, start chopping it up with the... Uh, I'm stand up. I'm saying because it's going to get real. Started chopping it up with Big Boy and Pitbull. And, you know, Pit's real standoff, kind of quiet guy. Uh, you know, but Big Boy, me and him started hitting it off, talking, you know, hey... Well, you know, where you from? Oh, you we're from Cali and oh yeah, I'm from here. I'm, I'm part of Rocks and yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. We start hitting it off. And of course, this was the one of the funniest things that I thought, right? Because, you know, who would think that meeting somebody for the first time, you're just going to completely lie. You know what I mean? But that's what Big Girl did. And uh, he wanted to sound super cool to Stax because, you know, he wanted to show off, I guess. I don't, I don't know. And it's pretty funny what he lied about, but we were talking about prison, you know, and, and, and growing up. And I told him, you know, I'm from the east side of San Antonio and I'm from the hood. And, you know, both of my parents were, you know, uh, addicted to drugs my whole life. And, and you know, I, I have a pretty bad upbringing. Ended up going to prison at 17 years old and, uh, you know, on a 10 year sentence for delivery, man. And uh, it was a bad charge, man. I was facing 40 years at 17 years old. And... Uh, being my first offense, being charged as an adult, I have my lawyer bring it down. You know, I told him the whole story. I got a 10. I ended up going and serving three the first time. Didn't get my act together and I ended up going back for another three. You know what I mean? So a total of six years in prison and I got a couple years in county altogether, just in and out of county, uh, totaling about eight years, you know, but I just really was talking about prison with him. And uh, yeah, I told him, he asked me how much time you did and I was like, man, I did six years, you know what I'm saying? And, and that was a long time ago. I got out in 2012. I think this was, this was about four years ago, you know what I mean? So I'd only been out for, you know, what, 
six years or so, seven years, something around there. And uh, yeah, right after I told him I did six years, y'all know big girl, he's got to one up you, even if he's got to lie about it. This clown tells me, oh, I did eight years. <laughs> what a joke. I come to find out from his own homies. This clown didn't do no eight years. He barely even did three years. So what kind of grown ass dipshit lies about going to prison for longer? What is wrong with you? Let me tell you, does an insecure, jealous, don't be jealous, big girl. That's who does, because he wants to be hard. He wants to be gangster. Let me tell you a little bit more about this gangster. This gangster grew up in San Clemente, right next to the beach. This wasn't no rough ass city, Ricky. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Fucking beautiful. I didn't see one rough part of San Clemente. Then I come to find out, this guy didn't grow up rough. He ain't from no body off. He ain't from no fucking hood. This will grow up in a mansion, a 4,000 square foot house with his mama and stepdaddy. You know what I'm saying? God dang, are you kidding me? You're putting on this thug, I come from the hood, I'm um, this, I'm um, that, reform this. Homie, you weren't none of that. What is wrong with your fucking brain? He took off back to Cali after the meet and greet, and uh, we were chopping it up through DMs, and you know, I followed their page, and he followed me, and you know, I'd watch their stuff, you know, because when you meet a new influencer, and y'all hit it off, man, it's all about supporting each other, man. It's all about love. It's all about liking their pictures, commenting on their stuff, helping their page grow, and them doing the same thing for you, right? Because that's how people grow. We genuinely want to see each other grow, and we help each other grow. We help the algorithm. We fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. We were talking back and forth through the DMs, and, and he does a, a video one day, and he's like, straight cartel tryouts. And again, mind you, I'm already at 200K, and uh, the big boy was somewhere around like 400K or something like that. And uh, yeah, bro, he just, I, I hit him up. Yeah, hey, it'd be dope if uh, you had a Texas, you know, straight cartel athlete. And he was like, hell yeah, that'd be dope. I was like, well, let me know. What's up, homie? You know what I'm saying? I'm down to start running with y'all and helping your business grow and helping my business and network grow. And, and obviously, he understood that me having 200K followers he would grow, right? Your boy had all that Texas love, that 210 love, baby. And uh, so basically we hit it off, man. We made an agreement that I would fly out to Vegas and we would go to Olympia. I'd stand in with SC and you know uh, meet everybody and, and, and just take pics with everybody and sign autographs. And that was really from the Olympia, that was really day one when I got with SC, you know what I'm saying? And, that's where I got to meet all the homies, Savage and, and uh, Topo and Spy Boy and Mex Lee and Armando and you know all the homies that were part of SC there. Pitbull was already gone and Big Boy had already lied to me about the reason for that. You know, he had already built up uh, all this lies about Pitbull telling me like, yeah, Pitbull just bailed on me without saying anything. Pitbull just, we woke up one day and uh, he just didn't show up to the meet. He didn't show up to shoot. He didn't call me, he didn't say anything, but that was all a lie. From the get-go, Pitbull wasn't happy with the outcome of what he was making for one. He wasn't happy for the outcome of how Big Boy disrespected him and probably everybody around him, just like I wasn't later on. So Pitbull said, hey man, I'm gonna start my own stuff. You know, letting Big Boy know, uh, letting Big Girl know that, uh, he was starting his own stuff, right? And, 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 and he didn't like that, man. And next thing you know, he had to make up lies to everybody about why Pitt left and all this. And, and, and I, honestly, still at this point, I didn't think a grown man would lie about another grown man because that's not what I do. That's not what me and my homies do. We open our mouth, we let it know what it is, how it is, and this is what it's going to be, homie, because we grown men. We ain't got no reason to lie. We ain't got a tuck tail and bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You know what I'm saying? So help me God. Anyway, so we were at Olympia, yada, yada, yada. Time goes on. I fly out to a shoot in Cali. Uh, I tell Big Boy, yeah, hey, you know, 
and this is the crazy thing, guys, is that in the beginning, this guy, when he wants something from you, he puts you under his wing and he takes care of you and you think, you know, hey, this guy's legit, right? He flew me out there. He paid for my hotel for the photo shoot. He, all the homies were there at the photo shoot. And, uh, you know, I meet everybody. We take a photo shoot. Yada, yada, we get some workout. We get some content. At this time, I didn't even have a YouTube channel. Ricky and me haven't even met yet, right? So I'm just down there solo dolo, just hitting it with the homies, shooting it on my story. Same time that I fucked up my lat. Uh, but it is what it is. So we're down there training. And again, it was all love, man. So I thought, little did I know, you know, he was talking behind my back to Topo. You know, saying, what you think about this guy, Stax? Uh, what do you think about him having his own company? And what do you think about him telling him, like, yeah, but he's got a lot of followers. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just use him for his followers. We'll just, we'll just take his people for his cloud. And I didn't know this, right? But Topo was one of his best friends, uh, Chris, and he was telling him all this at night. He, Topo told me that he would talk for an hour, two hours on the phone, and he would just talk shit about every member of the straight cartel, literally. This is what Topo was telling me. And Topo's in his mind thinking like, man, this fool's talking shit about all these people to me. I bet you he's talking shit about me to other people. And shit, was he not right? Fake as fuck, homie! Because Big Boy would then be on the phone with me talking shit about Topo, telling me, can you believe this fool? And, and you know, guys, some of y'all may be from the streets, right? I know I got a lot of hood motherfuckers following me and shit. You know the number one thing to get a hood motherfucker to stop talking to another dude. This fool tells me that Topo's snitching, Topo's a rat, this and that. And I'm like, what? He don't seem like that, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, when somebody tells you that and you trust that person, you want to believe. You don't want to get part of any kind of, not that I was doing anything, right? But you just don't want to associate with no rata, you know what I'm saying? You want to be around no snitch. So I just kind of distanced myself from him, just like my homie Big Girl told me to, right? Because I trusted Big Girl. They, they do what it's called managing out. When you manage somebody out, you don't necessarily say, hey man, you're fired, right? Because then that person can go and talk, like your boy Stacks, talking all that shit. Uh, talking all that truth, right? Uh, you could go and say stuff about them, but if you manage them out, then they quit on their own. And then they kind of, even though he's Topos, my boy Chris still came and said what happened, he didn't do it for a little while, just like I didn't, but you manage them out. It's like a little bit more easier way. So he stops inviting him to photo shoots, ignores his text messages. And if he even shows up to a lift, you don't put him in the video, right? All these different ways to just really disrespect your homeboy and make him not even want to be there no more. You know what I mean? You just make them not want to be there because, you know, oh, all the love, strength cartel, there's so much love, we'll never die. Eat! Yeah, homie, you ain't showing no love. You're actually managing all your real homies out because you're insecure and jealous. Don't be jealous! That these guys are doing good for themselves. So now, what do you want to do? You want to be the guy at the top all the time. You want to be the guy that's bigger and better and bullying everybody. So you manage people out. You're just a disrespectful clown ass motherfucker in my eyes, but you manage people out. You couldn't be a man and tell a person a real reason, so you manage them out, right? So nevertheless, Topo ended up doing his own thing, taking off the best choice he ever made, and I'm just now getting into the bullshit, right? So boom, time goes on, and uh, you know, we're still hitting it off, man. We're chopping it up. I think everything's cool. Next thing we know, here comes the LA Fit. Big does exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Flies his athlete out there, pays for the room, pays for my flight. Uh, at this time, I still didn't have Ricky as my video guy. There was still no YouTube. I go down there, start showing love. I felt like it was still all love, and uh, we're all growing together, man. And uh, you know, around this time, uh, I had already been with them, you know, probably, cause time flies, man, when I'm back here in Texas and they're in Cali. So it wasn't just like one month, two month, three, nah, it was like three months had gone by, went to a shoot. Another three, four months went by. Then came, you know, 
the Olympia. Another three, four months went by, five months. Here comes January is when the original LA Fit Expo was in January. And this was the year me and Ricky had met, I want to say, but he wasn't still in my video guy. So I'm doing expos with them. I'm feeling the love, you know what I'm saying? LA Fit was the first time I met Big Mex. You know what I'm saying? Big Mex came in the picture, a great dude, one of my homies, still one of my homies, and will always be my homie. Make sure you go show some love to my boy Big Mex uh, out there in Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, man, he's like a brother to me, and at the time I didn't know we were gonna be so close, and I see this dude, never met him, and you know, I got all the, the banners and stuff here, and Big Mex isn't standing in with the homies. He just wanted to come show love, and this is when I really started to see how big boy was, big girl was. And uh, this is how I started to see his shady side come out. He would uh, basically, I said, hey, who's this guy, Big Max, man? Uh, he's going to be SC. And he's like, nah, nah, he's not SC, homie. He's just some dude that, you know, he just wants to help out. He just wants to, uh, he's not SC. He just wants to help out. He's just going to hold the line for us and sell some merch and, but he's not SC. Uh, he's just gonna help us. And I'm like, all right, homie, yeah, you know, whatever. You, it's, you know, it's his show, it's his clothing line. I'm just wondering why this dude wants to come and help and show love if big girl's not gonna show the same love back to this dude, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're taking pics, and guys, you gotta understand, man, as fans, you guys don't see the real. Fake as fuck, homie, I can't believe it. You still believe in your own self. This guy cuts out everything. He cuts out so much that you don't see. He cuts out talking crap about his own fans. He talks shit about Texas non-stop. All my Texas people, guys, y'all are out here. It's about to be the American Fit Expo. It's about to be one of the biggest expos in Texas, in Houston. I want all my Texas people to know Big boy hates on Texas, talks mad shit about Texas, always talk about West Coast, the best coast, and all this stupid crap. Mind you, only because when I went down there, your boy from Texas, I had to smash his ass on every competition we had. That was fair, of course. Uh, but other than that, I wanted just to tell you guys, man, you guys from Texas, you showing so much love to the fake cartel, and that fool's over here talking mad shit about Texas, hating on Texas. And, and again, I'll even be real, man, like, we would have fans come up. Fans would come up, man, I love you guys, man, you guys changed my life, all happy, all this. We'd take a picture with him, he'd be like, yeah, oh yeah, homie, yeah, yeah, what's up, homie, yeah. Hey, homie, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, dude, damn, he's all navy down. What's up, That's a bad dude. Let's crack it. Yeah. Crack it. Yeah. Let's crack it. Yeah. Oh, shit, love. Yeah. That's big boy, right? His fake ass face with his fake ass smile. Hey, what's up, homie? Hey, homie. Yeah, come down, homie. Yeah, he gets like a little soft voice. When big boy does the soft voice, he's fake as fuck. That's that's one hundred. You know what I'm saying? And. uh Bro, that poor fan would come up showing so much love, covered in SC merch, get a picture, get an autograph, take off. And even my boy Ink Man Mondo can vouch for this. Even everyone can vouch for this. The dude would just talk shit about people. Just talk shit about his own fans. Disrespectful, clown ass fool, dog. And that's not what you boys about, I mean. You know what I'm saying? And I started to see that like, this fool is like out of character. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't who I am. And this was only one year, one and a half years in, you know? And I'm like, I'm not even like this, man. Like this fool's like trash. You know what I'm saying? Like his own fans that are paying for your $40 t-shirts. Come on guys, you order one t-shirt, you have to pay $10 shipping and then you wash it twice and the shirt's fucking trash. Cracked everywhere, bullshit. That's what you guys are paying for. And this fool's clowning y'all, disrespecting y'all when you walk away behind your back. You know what I'm saying? And you're still feeding the money, still feeding the money. Don't be that fool, you know what I'm saying? Real recognize real, open your fucking eyes. 
See what the facts are, homie. And that's what Stax is here to do. Stax facts. And after that, I started thinking like, damn, this fool could be talking shit about me. This fool could be like, hating on me. And sure enough, your boy wasn't even wrong, man. Your boy wasn't wrong. When I first got with Straight Cartel, it was all love. They all loved my, what's up, baby? Let's go. And all that. And guess what? You guys love that shit too, right? But once big girls started seeing how much people would come up to the booth and they'd be like, what's up, baby? Stacks. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? To everybody, all the homies, right? You could see in this fool's eyes, he would be like, damn, they're all over here like, what's up, baby? And they're all over here like, hey, big girl, some tampons. Here, take the whole box. You can see, like, the jealousy starting to eat at him, right? And, uh, you know, your boy's out there shirtless, shredded, looking good, feeling good, diamonds on, chains on. You wish you were shredded, don't you? You wish! Every day looking good for your boy, just G'd up from the feet up, you know what I'm saying? And I hate to say it, I make this shit look better than Big Girl does, you know what I'm saying? But... It is what it is. He was the, the owner of the company. And, you know, I hadn't heard anything yet from anybody. And just let you know, guys, God always brings everything to light. And he sure did. It took him a little while, but he did. And uh, it always comes out, guys. So, boom, LA Fit Expo. I see his real character. I see how this dude's starting to act. Then, you know, we keep grinding. We keep grinding. I don't go to LA for a while until I want to say... I didn't hit another expo with them. We quit going to expos after that. Uh, I guess uh, Fake Cartel was going broke. And uh, I'm not really too sure because he stopped paying for all the homies. He started shortening all of our packages that would come to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if, if they did a shoot in Cali, the homies would get some clothes. I'd get a package. I would miss, like, the main unit, the top and bottom. I'd get some shirts, no hats. I'm like, homie, what, what, what's going on with my packages, bro? Y'all going broke? Or like, what, what's going on? Like, I'm not getting what I'm supposed to be getting? Or, oh, my bad, homie. Da, da, da. So anyway, I kept it real. I understood. Of course, I knew my shit was going to crack, so I just started selling that shit. You know what I mean? I didn't want to wear it and wash it. And the next thing you know, you get two washes and then it'd be messed up. So I felt like, ah, I better make the money off it. <laughs> so I would just sell that to people and and keep some of the gear for myself to rock whenever I had to wear it for photo shoots or whatever I had to wear it for. But most of the time I would just sell it. And uh, next thing you know, especially the supplements, whoosh, straight out the door, garbage. But you know, guys, it, it, and I'm telling you all this timeline so y'all can grasp the concept of how I started to see how big girl was. At first it was all love. I didn't hear him talking crap about homies. There was side dissing, a little bit of fun. You know what I mean? But then it got worse. It got way worse. I started to see how he was treating his own cousin, Mex Lee, constantly disrespecting him. And, you know, hate to say it, Mex Lee, he wouldn't really even stand up for himself. He started dissing on Spy Boy all the time. And I'm thinking, like, man, this guy's a little bit rough, man. Like, he must really be, like, hating on everybody for a reason, right? Because he's just a straight hater. And him talking shit about all these people really started to be like, man... Again, I'm starting to see more of this guy's character. You know, he would throw little sly jokes at me, but the fact with Stax is, you wanna throw sly jokes at Stax, I'm gonna throw even slyer shit at you, especially when you're as smart as a rock. You know what I'm saying? Big Girl ain't that smart. He couldn't do all this shit on his own. He has, you know, a sugar daddy backing him up. I didn't know if y'all knew that or not, but I'm just gonna throw that in there. Big Boy isn't self-made. He didn't come up on his own. He literally had an older man with a lot of money, his sugar daddy, who supported him to start the fake cartel. You know what I'm saying? Stax comes up from the streets, out of prison, built this company, 11 years now strong. Now I got five companies. Every dollar that I've invested in the Stax Army, every dollar that I've grown my network for seven, eight years has been mine. I've made it all. Working out in the Texas heat, 100 degree weather plus, working, just like you guys, working. Not having a sugar daddy pay for all my stuff for me, pay for my apartment, pay for my cars. 
I mean, am I wrong? Is that what a sugar daddy does for these females? Baby girl, here's some ovulating kids. Right? Pays for their apartments, pays for their car. Yeah, okay, so yeah, let's agree that big girl's got a sugar daddy. And uh, once I started to see this guy's character and him starting to throw a little bit too much sly ass shit at me, Ricky wasn't there to record it. So I, shit, I started clowning him back. I'm older than you, homie. Let me teach you something, big girl. You know what I'm saying? Let me teach you something, youngster. Oh, I can't even see your muscles getting to work out. Where's the bicep? Where's your chest muscle? All I see is bitch titties. You know what I'm saying? Like, th this guy, he could pick up a lot of weight once, but was he really getting a workout? I couldn't tell. So once I started, you know, hearing him talk shit to me and I'm talking shit back, I kind of get mad. You know what I mean? Because I'm a grown ass man. And realistically, I don't let people talk to me like that. You want to disrespect me, homie, like that, especially on video, we gonna, we gonna exchange some words for real. With the smoke, what's up, what's up, what's up? I say that now to show you guys this video. This video is the video that started it all. I got my boy Ricky with me at this time. We done shot three, four, five videos here in Texas. Now I got my own YouTube. Let's go. And after I did the YouTube, you know, what did I do? I, I have to pay out of my pocket now because at this point, big girl's so jealous and so envious of Stax, he's no longer paying for me to come to Cali no more. But it's okay, Stax got his own money, baby. Self-made, I'll fly to Cali. I'll bring my own video guy. I'm gonna collab with my homies is what I'm thinking. I'm not thinking he's talking shit behind my back, right? I'm not thinking that and you know, again, let me say this. It was crazy to me because when I went down there, I had already been filming and stuff. And when I worked out here with my homies in Texas, my boy Top Gun, my boy AWOL, couple of my homies, you know, they're black dudes. So when I go down for like the first time with Ricky, again, thank God I got Ricky for me, guys, because the camera just don't float around by itself. I don't have a drone with me that I just put on follow stacks. And then I literally got my homie Ricky, solid motherfucker, got no reason to lie. And that's why he's my homie still, because he's on the same page with me. Be truthful, be honest, you ain't got no reason to lie. You're a man, you got motherfucking nuts. Why you gonna lie, right? So, you know, we're there with Big Boy and he's like, yeah, Stax likes to hang out with all the Mayates in San Antonio. Stax likes to hang out and work out with the blacks. And I'm like, so what homie, those are my boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a problem with me working out with my homies in San Antonio? You know what I'm saying? Basically, you already know what kind of comment that is. I'm not even gonna say it, right? But basically talking smack about my boys in San Antonio who I knew before him. Like, I was just gonna like, tuck tail and run or some bullshit, right? So I told him, so what, homie? I'm hanging out with my homies, We're training, what's up? You know, and clearly this guy was talking smack about my homies because they were black. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly didn't like that. I said my piece about it, and it was a dead issue, I thought. And uh, so, shoot, I come down there with Ricky for a photo shoot one day, and we're shooting, filming. Next thing you know, the fucking guy is shooting videos with Cali Muscle. What, what, what? I thought I was hanging out with my black homies and the Mayates, big boy. I thought all this stuff that you were saying and now your best friend is Cali Muscle? I'm not really understanding what the hell's going on, big girl, but obviously you're here to use somebody, right? You're just using Cali Muscle now because all that stuff you were talking before and now I fly down and you're shooting videos with Cali Muscle? Hmm. All right, you guys don't have to think too hard on that. Let's pass for that. So I get down there and I wanna show y'all the first video. It wasn't necessarily me that put Big Girl in this insecure, jealous phase of, of you know, oh, Stax thinks she's better than me and Stax thinks this. No, Big Girl, you think that I think I'm better than you. Uh, uh, you wish, baby! I thought we were freaking homies and I thought we were just shooting content together trying to grow. But little did I know, this whole time, you've been talking shit about me behind my back, just using me for my following, for the clout, 
trying to build your people off of my people, like trash, homie, trash. Just like you do with Cali Muscle, just like you do with all the other influencers, bro. You ain't genuine, not even a little bit, homie. We gonna start back, like I said, with the Cali Muscle video. Ricky, what was the name of that video? It was called the Bodyweight Bench Press Challenge. The Bodyweight Bench Press Challenge. How could I forget? I whooped both of their asses. Damn, Texas whooped that Cali ass all over the place. Not by one rep, not by two reps. I whooped that ass by like seven, eight reps. You know what I'm saying? And Big Girl had to lie about his weight because his fat ass couldn't even lift his own weight that time. But don't you think you're not showing the weight? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see man. All right, I'm on my head, guys. Yeah. Air. Yeah. Air. I guess they aired it out. Well. I'm thinking there's only, you know, 300 pound limit on there. Isn't that sad? Watch the video, guys. I'm gonna read some stuff because this is where it all started. Yeah, yeah. That's a bond, homie. Your word is bond. Homie. Jumping in the pool, and you'll see me jump right in. Your word is bond. If I lose. Your word, okay, but if it's not your shoes, you gotta do all the rest of your shit. Yeah, you can do it. The shoes, homie? Yeah, the shoes cost $239. Jumping That's in the water. okay, dog. You're a baller. You got $20,000 change. And the only reason I'm a baller is because I'm way smarter than this nigga. Oh, because yeah. he jumps into the shoes. <laughs> I know. Get your money, dog. Calculator. Get the calculator. Way over. Hold up. Hold up. Get your money, dog. Everybody watching you, homie. You yeah, good, good. Because they don't want to sell dope. Yeah. Oh, that's how I know he did it, dog. That's how I know he did it, dog. You can't even calculate, dog. I counted 185 and I didn't count down there. Yes, I did. Look! 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 40. Yeah! Look! Yeah! Fuck! Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at those fucking cuts. Look at those cuts. Look at those veins. Look at him. Look at that shit. Look at him. He has sweat. Look like a pug. Look at him. Look at him. Look like a small pug. Look at him. 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 Come on. Good money. Get your ass in that pool, Cali. Come on, mathematician. Can you count to 43? Calm down, Einstein. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, big boy got the perfect height right there. Likewise, oh, wait. Wait. You know what Einstein? He's um, what's that shit called? Look at him, 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 take ten seconds and look at him, look at him, come back. Ten seconds for comeback. Every time we do big boys, look at him. Look at him, look at him. Nah, nah. Time, go ahead, get your comeback. Get your set. Get your comeback. Get your set. Couldn't think of one. Come on, dog. I'm not spy boy, dog. I'm not spy boy. You couldn't think of one. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me help out my homeboy here. <laughs> help me out, Zach. Oh, look at it. Help me, help me, Zach. Look at him. He needs stuff. Hey, give him some attention. Tell him he looks good, dog. Hey, tell him he looks good, dog. Come on. I was born in Houston. I just told the Texas. Give him some Texas love, homie. I'm from the bank, so it's... Yeah, that's Texas love. That's Texas love right there. He tried to get, reach out to somebody that was from Texas. Man. Look at him. All right, Don't forget to pay him that five, dog. It's cool, super expensive. They used to tip like in the strip club. Man, did you guys see that shit? Did you see all that dry ass hating on your boy Stacks? I thought you were my homie. It didn't seem like it. But even though you were hating, I know why he was hating, guys. Big was hating because he wanted to be like Stax so bad. <laughs> you wish you were shredded. You ain't on Stax level. It's my game, bitch. He thought if he just tried to make fun of me or belittle me or come with a bunch of slot that you guys would laugh about it and that you guys would be on his side. Like, oh, big boy's real funny. But in all actuality, guys, let's read these comments, man. It's, it's pretty messed up, but I'm gonna screen record these and we're gonna post them right here on the side so you guys can follow through with me. Here we go. So let's read one of the first comments here. It says, bro, big boy's vibe and energy is off. Got that hate energy. Yo, big boy's a boring hater. I've been following him since he was with Rich Fiona. Look how he did his homie Pitt when he tried to start his own brand. Always clowning on Lee. Come on, man. Yeah, dog, look at this. We're gonna keep rolling. Big boy low key jealous, Joey. You a beast. Had me laughing when you started clowning back at big boy. I told you, 
Stacks don't play, homie. You want to try to clown? I'm going to make you look stupid, especially when you're as smart as a rock. <laughs> Let's keep rolling, baby. Nah, I know dudes like this, that little joking around with a bit of venom behind it. Could be that Stax became more popular and doesn't need Big Boy. Just look at the difference in videos. Big Boy is about clowning and all piggybacking with Cali. What did I say? Big Boy's using Cali. He must see that Big Boy's using Cali. You see Big Boy's using Cali and every other influencer because he's really not that fucking interesting at all. And next thing you know, it says Stax video succeeds with him showing his regular life. Real work. Goes to the gym. Repeat. Stax is a real dude. Can tell he's been through it, learned from it, has grown, and tries to do good for his family and others, but still has that edge to him. I trust him having my back before Big Boy, for real. Big Boy seems to change a lot, just my opinion. At Joey Stax, keep doing you. Stay real and humble like you have, and success will continue. And it has, baby. We already hitting 50K coming soon. Stax built for show and go. Absolute monster. Hey, I used to like Big Boy. Found Stax through his channel, but Big Boy's annoying as fuck. Now, let's go, Stax. Let them haters hate. Let's keep on going. Stax outshines everybody. Dude has that kind of special energy. Thank you, Jesus. You already know I got the energy. It's from the grace of God, baby. Let's go. Shout out to the Texas men. Oh, I like that one. We had to put that one on there. Big Boy's super hating on Stax. Keep doing your thing, man. Cali to Texas, real recognized real. I already know, homie. You know how many people from Cali have actually dropped Strength Cartel and stopped even watching their stuff and watch my stuff now? They don't even like Big Girl no more. They don't even like his vibe. They don't like anything about the dude because they know that he's fake and you know that he's a general of the fake cartel and full of a bunch of heavy haters. You know what I'm saying? Look at this one. Stax is more like able person than Big Boy is. Not as cocky with it, very, very humble. Seems to be down to earth dude. Checking in, 816 KCMO, checking in. The quiet one is normally with the shits. Don't have to be loud, obnoxious to be heard. Oh, this one's a long one. Can tell he's always getting annoyed, also with Cali. Big boy is really aggressive for no reason, which is annoying. And a huge red flag stacks. I think big boy is threatened by you for some reason. Well. Guess what, buddy? You were right. He's definitely threatened by your boy Stax. What's up? What's up? You want some more smoke? I got more smoke. Let's keep on going. Bro, those may be jokes, but I feel, bro, gets out of his pocket, especially in the newer videos. When y'all did that super set of dumbbell curls and triceps, I don't know if it's just in front of the camera or what, but shit seems like disrespectful, trying to be little and supposed to be your homie. Big Boy is the dude that always has some smart shit to say. I mean, I wouldn't say smart shit to say, I'd say dumb shit to say, but yeah. This looks ugly. Every time on stacks, what jello big do on stacks, it is annoying every single time. Bad jealousy ending on stacks. Basically what he's saying is this fool's jealous. Don't be jealous. And he's super retarded acting like this. Let's keep on rolling, let's keep on rolling. These videos with Big kind of annoyed with all the clowning. Man, respect to you, Stacks, for going to Cali, representing two of the biggest dudes doing it. Grown ass man shit. Hey, you already know, dog. We're all men. If you can't handle a little friendly competition, then something else. It's all fun and games. If they clown, just clown back. Plus the weights. But the problem is with that is, it wasn't a friendly competition. How is it a competition when you're doing the same weight as some 360 pound fat ass and you're 210 pounds of solid muscle? It's, it's not a friendly competition. A friendly competition is you do the weight that's comfortable for you, he does the weight that's comfortable for him. That is a friendly competition. And no one, as you can see in that last video, could even fuck with me on body weight. I left them fools in the dark. Big Boy had to lie. Big Boy had to cheat just to even try to compete with Stax. Not really feeling the fat guy and the other guy. Kinda lames. Stax do you and stay strong. The fat guy being Big Girl and the other guy being Cali Muscle. They're not feeling them is what they're saying. 
I fuck with Big, but after watching his video and yours multiple times, the jokes aren't that funny. I get rough with my homies, but there is always that guy who kind of means what he's joking. We all know he means what he's joking, because he's jealous, super insecure. We already know this. No, no matter what they say, Stacks, I got respect for you. Much love from New Mexico. Also, like your style. All that down talk bouncing off the bulletproof. You're a strong SC dude, homie. I'm a strong SA dude, homie. Stacks Army. You already know what it is. Let's keep going. I, I'm getting feeling this. Tell Kelly Muscle, don't be jealous. I'm retired and don't got to put in no more work to get paid. And don't get mad because God don't play that. I'm not sure what that means, but sound like Cali Muscle was jealous of your boy Stacks. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Big Boy has some positive inside collabs, but lately it seems like he's been hitting a scoop of the pre-workout powder, the kind you don't mix with water. <laughs> a little too animated. Yeah, I mean, he's putting on that fake Cali Muscle attitude, right? He's trying to grow like Cali Muscle. He's trying to be like somebody else that he's not, which is not how you grow, by the way. Stax is on another level compared to Big Boy and Cali Muscle. They are loud, vulgar, and despotics. I don't know what that means. Stax got class. He is serious and polite. Even in situations, Stax maintains a loadable behavior, respect. He shows us a way of doing things like a real man. Not noise, not clowns, just hard work, frankness, and dedication. A real inspiration. I hope that Stax got the success he deserves. I'm looking forward to the day Stax rules. Well, guess what, baby? Stax army fucking rules, baby. I'm the general now, and I ain't got no clowns in my army. That's for damn sure. Guys, I want to keep going, and I, I see like one or two good ones. As soon as Big Boy is not in the center of attention, he again acts all passive, aggressive towards Stax, acting all jealous and insecure. Wish Stax remains calm and just chilling. True alpha. Keep it up, Stax. <laughs> True motherfucking alpha. That's because I'm older than him, homie. More mature. Your boy's grown. I done really been through the shit. You know what I'm saying? Big Boy don't do Stax like you do Pitbull. Stax is a real one, brother. You should look out for him and put him on. 200 pounds keeping up and as strong as fuck. Stax, get your need, homie. You need someone to invest in you. Reach out to me. I'm rich as fuck. Shit, I'm going to like that comment. I'm going to get a damn millionaire to invest in me now, shit. Appreciate what you got while you're still together because when you're not, that's when you will regret your choices. Shit, big boy, we know you regret it now because I'm making you look like a clown. Let's keep going down here real quick. Last one, this guy right here. Big boy always says the damn same thing. He's so dry. Big kid starting off to get gassed up too much. Why you think he dolo and trying to do collabs now? Where's his day one, homies? Oh, shit, that's going to be the last one, guys. There's so many comments, guys. Uh, I think me and Ricky said there was like 350 comments or some crazy shit like that, 360 comments, and none of them, none of them are hating on me. All of them are speaking those stacks facts, baby. They see the jealousy, they see the envy, and these comments are the ones that Big Boy sat at home. <laughs> Everybody doesn't like me no more. Everybody likes stacks more than me. Because I'm just a hater. Look at the baby. Look at the baby right here. Uh, uh, hey, I can't help it, bro. That's why you got to be genuine. That's why you got to be real. That's why you can't hate. Nobody likes a hater. As much as you want to think that being a bully is cool, it's not cool, big girl. You ain't cool for bullying. And now we see you're putting on a fake act because you're losing your whole damn squad. There ain't no love in strength cartel more. It's all a bunch of heavy haters. It's the fake cartel. Everybody's dropping out because they're tired of your dumb bullshit, just like I was. So I left you, punk ass, because you don't pay no one shit. You're a fucking joke. No one wants to stick around if you don't take care of them, you fool. There's so much love in strength cartel. 
Yeah, right. It'll never die. Yeah, fucking right. There is no original strength cartel. You literally don't have not one member left from the original crew. You had to start bringing in kids and their dads. People who don't even lift weights are now part of strength cartel or the fake cartel. They have no idea what's in for them. They have no idea what type of snake they have as a damn boss. It's freaking ridiculous. Guys, what's crazy to me is that, man, <laughs> there's so much love in Street Cartel. Street Cartel never gonna die. There's all this love. Ricky, how many uh, subscribers does the Street Cartel page have? 806,000. 806K subscribers on his YouTube. Holy shit, that's a lot of people, guys. Ricky, how many views did their last video get? 24,000. Hmm, something tells me Street Cartel's not losing subscribers because they're fucking buying them. It's a fake cartel, a fake YouTube with fake subscribers. Ricky, what about Joey Stax's YouTube? Let's, we're gonna keep it real. We're gonna, we're gonna do your boy Stax's page. How many subscribers does Joey Stax's page have? 46,000. 46,000. Did you say 406,000? No, 46K. So, fake cartel, 806K. Stax, 46K. It's okay. They've been doing it longer. We just getting started, baby. God put me here for a reason, and best believe, I'm gonna pass that ass up with real subscribers. Now, Ricky, what about my last video? With 46,000 subscribers, how many views did my last video get? 10K. 10K! Holy shit. That's like over 20%. That's over 20% of my fucking subscribers that watch my video. Guys, both of our videos have only been up one day. When this video was made, his last video was posted the same day my last video was posted. A lot of love there, big girl. We can tell. Guys, if Joey Stacks has got 46K and in one day my shit hits 10K, I'm super pumped. Let's go, Stacks Army. Let's get this money. Guys, I ain't got to buy subscribers because I ain't no fake cartel. You understand? This is a Stacks Army, baby. Real recognize, real. We do it 100. We ain't got to lie to kick it. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely don't give a damn about fame. All right? I definitely don't need to kick my homies out because they do better than me, right? You want your homies to do good because that's where God put them at, right where they're supposed to be. And that's why you are right where you are, buying fake subscribers, right where you're supposed to be. The fake cartel is fake as hell. Fake followers, fake subscribers. Oh, wow! I'm just going by the numbers, guys. Check it out. How is, let, hold one more time. Big Boy has 1 million Instagram followers. 20,000 likes if he's lucky. 20,000 likes. 1 million? 20,000! That's it's pathetic. It's sad because now you know that Big Girl's actually buying subscribers. He's buying followers. That's how sad it is for this man. It's pathetic. Guys, I only have 506, 507K right now, and I'm getting 20,000. Matter of fact, my last picture, and I don't even post, why? Because I have a real fucking job. I have three kids. I have five fucking companies, and I like to take my time and not stress. My last post was back in May. I didn't post all of June, and I didn't post in July, but I got 21,000 likes on my shit. Real likes, all right? And he might have real likes, but he definitely don't have no real followers because you ain't got no 1 million people with 20,000. No, guys, the numbers don't make sense. And that just goes to show how insecure and how this guy is just like, oh man, I have to make it look like I'm famous. I have to make it look like I have all this love. Guys, be real. Look at the numbers. It's fake love, just like the fake cartel. That's why I can't stand this shit. You know what I'm saying, guys? This video's getting super, super long. We're like running in like 45 minutes. 
So me and Ricky were talking, we gonna make a part two for you. Look at that rhymes right there. We gonna have a part two just for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'd like to keep going on about big girl and all his female tendencies. You know what I'm saying? But instead, we just gonna get him a tampon. Oh, you still bleeding? Give me some more tampons. Take the whole box. With all these mood swings and always dumping all his members, he's probably ovulating. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna get him an ovulating kit. We gonna get him some tampons, just like we have in the whole video. He's got a box of them now. And we're going to continue on with part two coming soon. Don't forget, your boy's going to be in H-Town, baby. Get down and lay down. We're going to be in Texas. That stacks his motherfucking house, baby. We're going to be at the American Fit Expo. And this time, your boy Stacks got some mean-ass shirts for sale. Make sure you come by the booth, show some love. We're going to have some of the homies over there. I'm going to have Big Eye with me. I'm going to have Stretch with me. Mondo's supposed to be in the house. I'm hoping to have more homies there. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody, man. I appreciate all the love. In this second video, in part two, we're going to talk about why all the SC members really left. Not Big Boy and all his, his lies and all his, oh, this is why, because he did me wrong, and this is why he did me wrong, and this, oh yeah, you're never wrong, except for the fact that, you know, by all your followers, and by all your subscribers, and basically every single body left you, you know what I'm saying, because you're never wrong. That, that makes a lot of sense. Everybody did you wrong, bro. And uh, I can't wait to know the story that he told the homies, the reason why I'm not with the fake cartel, but this is a beautiful thing. I'm going to talk to the homies. In part two, I'm going to talk to all the homies. I'm going to talk about uh, homeboy G Money and the real reason why he's gone. Mr. Orlando, the real reason he's gone. My boy Topo, the real reason he's gone. Pitbull, the real reason he's gone. Mondo, the real reason he's gone. And I didn't even tell y'all. I got a special story for y'all next time. The most pathetic Sad story of a little tiny girl that got mad over YouTube subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna touch on that later, man. As always, Stax Army, what's up, baby? I appreciate all the love and support from everybody. If you haven't yet, you better subscribe to the motherfucking channel. You better have commented. You better like the video. I don't give up if you liked it or not. You better like it anyway. Hey, that's what it's all about, baby. Showing love being real, and I couldn't stand these fake cartel walking around like they're just solid ass dudes, solid ass, I mean, I hate to say it, there's only a couple solid dudes left in the, in the fake cartel, man, and soon enough, they're gonna open their eyes, you know what I'm saying, and if not, hey, if you haven't seen yet, big boy, Buzzo looks better than you, your own cousin, Max Lee, he looks better than you. Shit, at this point, even Spy Boy is looking better than you. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to kick all them out too, bro. Because they all making you look bad. Just like me. Just like Mondo. Just like G-Money. Just like Topo. Just like Pitt. All making you look like a damn fool. Because look at you now. Look at him. Ricky, look at him. Look at him, Ricky. Look at you. Look at you. Look at him. Look at him. Now you're jealous. Yo, I love making fun of you, it's hilarious. Guys, if you haven't yet, just know, Big Boy's losing all his hair too. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's always wearing his hat. He's always got that chest of the molester comb over. You can't have these locks. You can't have these locks. I just wanted to add that in there just to make fun of him a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? I want to hit him where it hurts. Let's go, baby. Hey, as always, go check out StacksArmy.com, man. If you haven't yet, Go get some of that Stax Army merch, baby. If you haven't yet, make sure you follow all the homies I was telling you to. Go follow Pitt. Go follow Topo. Go follow G Money. Go follow Mr. Orlando. Go follow my boy Ink Man if you haven't already. Go show some love to my boy Big Next, man. Hey, I love you guys. I appreciate all the love and support as always. We're going to keep doing our thing. Big girl, you should have knew it was coming. You shouldn't have fucked with me. This is my game. It's Stax Army's time. And I'm the general. We're running shit now. Biatch! How do you get rid of a fake cartel, baby? You bring out the motherfucking army. Let's go!